Welcome back everyone to the BD1P Iron Man streak. I am BD1P as I said like four seconds ago, but today is going to be a keeper run. I decided to myself, you know, out of any of the remaining characters that we have to play, I think he is the most difficult. I think next up is going to be like probably Tainted Magdalene tomorrow, but today is going to be keeper. Let's get into it here. Your question of the day is going to be, put your answer in the comments down below. What was the first video game you ever played? Whether you were like, you know, one year old on your, like, your Leapster, or you were, oh, we had Eden's Blessing, right. Uh, I see it is going to be F1EKWZE7, or you were, like, 20 with your Game Boy. I think, for, oh, this is actually really good to have, because we have uh, a pretty shitty luck step. We can make that improved with our Lucky Penny Drops, but, yeah, when I, uh, my first video game console, if I recall correctly, um, was a, like, a Leapster, uh, and I don't know what the first game that I had for it was, but it couldn't have been anything, like, super, um, you know, out there. I guess maybe it was, like, the, there were some Batman games, some Indiana Jones games on there. Uh, they're classic, like, what was that, oh god, what was that movie series called? Um, it was The Letter Factory, The Letter Factory. Uh, that was probably my first game I ever played was The Letter Factory. If you don't know what that is, it's, like, a series for kids where it teaches you about, like, words and letters and, like, you know, just general, like, literature. And, uh, it has, it stars this, like, mouse guy. He's like a Willy Wonka type character, right? He owns this factory. And through owning this factory, he makes letters, he makes words appear. And numbers, he didn't need numbers for a bit. Of, well, he dabbled in numbers for a bit, too. Don't get it twisted. Uh, are you right here? You are not right there. You probably are right, honestly. And, uh, be, he, he was, like, funded, I think, that whole series by, like, the Leapster or Leapfrog, like, organization. And, um, I think that because of that, uh, he was, like, the first character of that whole, like, you know, conglomerate to get his own video game on the Leapster system, which I guess you could go back even further, but if you don't know what a Leapster is, it's, like, a kid's, like, handheld, it's a kid's 3DS, pretty much. Uh, you, actually, you're way better now, and you might synergize with Triple Shot. I don't know how you work with, uh, tier synergies now, but you might, you might, you might, um, yeah, it was like a kid's handheld gaming system. I went from, like, here was my console evolution, right? I had, like, a Leapster. Then I had, like, a Leap Pad. Then I had a thing called a Digi, which, a, if you don't know what a Digi is, like, I feel like I'm the only person on the fucking planet who has actually played a Digi. Uh, it is literally... Oh! Ooh! Hello, beautiful. Hello! Holy shit. I wish I could open you up, but I can't. We'll come... We, maybe we can come back for you with a weird Joker card thing. We'll find out. But I want to get so... <laughs> And we have school bag. Well, well, well. What an amazing first floor for us. Keeper, you gotta love keeper sometimes, man, right? But if you don't know what a digi is, I I, I feel bad for you. Because it, it was like this, um, it was like a mature Leapster, right? It was like a PS Vita for little kids. And that had some of my favorite games ever on there. If you guys wanted, like, if, if anyone in the comments knows what a digi is, Please let me know, because I will dead ass. I will do a stream where I just play Digi games all day. I will find a, a you know, new or, or, oh god, oh god, stand back, stand back, stand back. A new or like a, um, get out of there. I don't even know. Like, like a resold, some kind of like, you know, random garage sale Digi, and I will play that, because it is, like, actually one of the most nostalgic things for me as a video gamer. Don't die now. You do only have one HP. Uh, you should wait for your star, but you should be fine to clear out most cellar rooms without having the star next to you, but it is a little nerve-wracking, I will admit. Okay, so what we can do now is um, a little bit of gambling here. I'd like one more penny, though, if I want to do that. I, I do want to go back to our sacrifice room and hopefully get the 20-cent deal for just having the extra money. Why can I not move? Oh my god, that's a, that's a really weird bug, I realized. If you have a status effect from like a cobweb or like a slowdown creep, and you stand inside your Bethlehem star, you keep that, uh, uh oh, back up, back up, back up. You keep that status effect? That was super, I couldn't, like, move at all. That was really, really weird. Fix the, fix the bug, Edmund. Fix it and come back to me later when you're ready to give me an, a finished game. But no, the patch has been great. Honestly, God, this game's amazing. Um, but, yeah, I will, I will actually go back and, like, play the Leapfrog or the Leapster system just out of pure, like, nostalgia for me. It, it was a great time. It came with this game installed that was called, like, uh, Jetpack Hero. Um, and you played as, like, this little alien dude who had to free all the sunshine because the evil guy took the sunshine. And the way you 
freed it was by doing math equations. It sounds like it'd be boring as hell, right? But honest to God, it was not. It was actually a great time. Now, we could go to Genesis right now uh, and go to the dark room, and then <laughs> uh, through that, we could Genesis with some Devil Deal items we get from paying for it with our 20 cent we just got right there, and then roll those into better items. We could do that, sure. I think I'd rather uh, not do another like 10 minute run here and just go for a regular run. I will check out my shop though, because we have a lot of money now. We'll see if we can get like an Emperor card. If we get an Emperor card, I think I will just for fun, go to the dark room and see what happens. Because I, I like doing that. I do genuinely enjoy doing that kind of stuff. I know that um, it, it can be risky and it was risky that one time we actually did it. Definitely buy, that's amazing for you. Death card is not what I wanted to see. We'll buy the sack as well for a quick seven. Uh-oh. Ah, we didn't get hit there. We're cool. We're cool. We're cool. And then I think your next step is just to go fight your boss and you'll be good. What an amazing first floor for us. We now have what I would consider to be one of the most powerful active items in this game. What do I want to do with it? Um, I think it's like a, it's like a surviving thing for me, right? Um, what I want to do with this is if I get at one heart and I'm on a really tough floor or a room, I'm going to just pop it. And then just save myself from dying and just skip that floor and get my HP back. That's kind of like the emergency Genesis pop right there. Outside of doing that, there's not much of like a tactical use for it. It's really good overall, but it's nothing like, you know, super tactical that you can do with it overall. But we're going to just fight little Plum here. Or Plum Baby, whatever you want to call him. We have actually amazing stats right now. And he should be not an issue to take down. Nice dodges. Beautiful. And you are a goner. Lovely stuff. And you give me... Okay, a luck upgrade. It's good. It's good for Loki's horns, you know. And then I guess we'll go alt path here because we have an emergency, you know, get out of jail free active item now. So we'll just head on down. What an amazing start for a run like this. What an amazing start. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think that uh, not even just... Oh, we know where you are now. Not even just like in uh, my life, but in gaming in general, I feel like nostalgia just takes over everybody and it's a good thing too because when i look back at my favorite games of all time it's a nostalgia based list truly like in my top five games i have you know kirby's dreamland down there for the wii like that it's because it's nostalgic to me that was a game that i played when i was a kid and i have great memories of it i think when you're choosing your like top you know few games you just you don't have to base it on if the game is good or not it's how the game makes you you know feel that's really good if you enjoy a game even if, it's a, if, if you think Gex is your favorite game of all time because you enjoy the game Gex it has good memories of it, good, that's good for you. I mean, it wouldn't be my choice personally, but it's not a bad choice to have. I mean, as long as you yourself, like, love the game and like playing it still, you have at it. That's your favorite game of all time. Who cares? I, I think that the kind of whole, like, hierarchy of your game has to be a good game for it to be, you know, your favorite game. I think it just comes down to gamers in general who are just, like, kind of buried in, like, elitism. Uh, like... When you're a gamer, especially in this, this modern age, you think of yourself as a cool guy because you know a lot about video games. And it's like, yeah, sure, that's a cool thing to, to know about, but it's not the be-all, end-all of stuff. Um, I think because gamers are super, like, oh. oh, oh, oh. oh, we did it, boys. Why did I do that? I don't know. Um, I do like me some crooked penny action, though. Genuinely, I do. What's the ideal situation here? We need a teleport card. If we can get one of those, we can Genesis right now and roll our current items and then take... Well, we lose school bag, though. Am I gonna ditch wooden nickel for this? I think 100% yeah. Because if I recall correctly, when you use Genesis, you get back your character's starting stuff. So in the future... We would get back Wooden Nickel, if I'm not mistaken. I'd rather risk it right now and just get the Crooked Penny for the, the fun gameplay. Because that also means the more items that we get from it, so we double like a good pedestal, the more Genesis items we get in the future, meaning our run will be stronger overall. And I'd love to use this on a secret room, so we can get another chance of finding a really funny Genesis Archie again. Like, uh oh this is a bad room for us. Like, what happened, uh, you know what, just, just do this, Death Card, who cares? It's a bad room, just, just get over it. Uh, we can use Genesis to then try and get a another Arky, or even, like, right now, we could go in there and get, like, Sacred Heart or Godhead or anything really powerful like that because we have the ability to, um, get an Angel item right now. And I think, currently, I will simply just go fight the boss. Uh, 
Wooden nickel is a really bad thing to give up, but I have faith in myself. I do have faith in myself. So I believe devil items also cost money, meaning that we're going to be down on... Nice find. On cash for a bit here, too. Watch out. Good. Get some bombs. I, I think, honestly, without having wood and nickel, you should be using your rocket bombs to do a lot of your damage. You can just get some... You can stay safer for a long... Like, for example... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, you're dead. Okay, cool. And we now get to go into our devil deal, and maybe... Yeah, see what I'm talking about? See how good this is? Okay, you touch the guppy item, you pop the guppy item, you pick up your wood and nickel where you're cooking penny back and you leave. I'm telling you, man, this is the strategy. We don't even need wood and nickel. Get it out of your minds. We're, we're fine. We're fine. I, I hope. I think I hope. Okay, moving on here. We go left for our boss fight. I'm going to do mostly full clears for the entirety of this floor here. Or these early floors, because we do have like a... A really, really, really good build right now. Also, I didn't know Blood Clot made all of your shots. Like, I feel like it shouldn't be that way. Because if Blood Clot's only in one of your eyes, then shouldn't, like, only the right tier have the effect on it? Very strange. Oh, well. I'm not going to read into it too much there. Oh. <sighs> Man. There's so many good items we're finding here. Not that. Well, I guess Stompy's not bad to have in the early game. We really want that if we can get a Crooked Penny on it. I, I'm not going to sp- Oh. <laughs> uh, hot bombs for our rocket bombs. You know what, man? I respect it. I am not going to buy anything. Crooked Penny is now my run decider. Whatever the Penny wants to give us, whatever we take. I am one with the Penny, and the Penny is one with me. This is going to be the strategy now. We So far, we've gotten our, our really good pops out of it. And plus, even if we fail it, we get a coin back for getting more HP for ourselves in the future. So it's kind of like a, a on a perfect day, an eight room wooden nickel uh, for us. Hey, you got to lose your run every once in a while, right, guys? You can't have your luck run forever. If you're always lucky, you're never uh, going to have fun. That's that's my that's the BD1P way to think. So we'll just we'll just do things normally here. I would have liked to have more options. Uh, I probably should have just bought it regularly, but I'm a little bit of a bitch sometimes, so no thank you. Also, I don't... Oh, you, you, this room is awful. What the hell? Uh, I also think that, you know, overall, if we're going to be popping um, Genesis eventually here soon, like or, or whatever we go, do in the future, um, it's really not going to matter if we have more options or not. A shot pool item is kind of just like, for me, it, it's very just hit or miss. Like, they can be really good, but primarily, they're not that great for your run in the long run. Because more op or there's options, sorry, only affects you for your first, like, you know, six floors of the game. And if you're not, if you only get it for, like, it's still good to have. But late game, it does literally nothing for you. So I'm fine not having it. I'm fine not having it. It'd be good to have, you know, right now. And then in the future, we turn into something else. Genesis, that will be the perfect situation. But you can't always get what you want, right? We should be fine to kill you here, like, really easily. Uh, because you are a little bit of a weakling sometimes, you know that? You're kind of a little bitch. And I can hit you in your face, let's go! Got Bethlehem Star plus our Incubus shit. Actually so good. Also, that's really, really good for us. I'll take it fourth right here. I'm not going to worry about um, doubling that. Because I want to have extra angel items for the future of the rolls here. So there's no point worrying about that. Also, Mom's Key plus these chests are going to be insane. Not that one. This one, though. Look at all this money we're getting, dude. Holy. Apple of Sodom, you're fine. Okay, I'm going to make a small play here. I, I think I'd, I'd, I'm fine not having that tears and maybe getting double tears. So why don't we just fight the angel statue here and get... I'm going to use rocket bombs for sure. Oh, I don't have... Okay, I got to be shooting for it. Right. Ow. <laughs> hey, we got him in the fire, though. We're cool. Okay, stop moving. Stop moving. No, you missed. Okay, cool. I'm really bad at aiming rocket bombs now, funnily enough. I used to be one of my least favorite items in the entire game. And now that it's good, I can't use it. So that's, that's a pretty, pretty ironic take there. Hey, let's go. Okay, two consolation prize. Should be two tiers ups here. Oh, it's tiers and a speed. Okay, okay. We get some of this on the ground as well. More money for us. Good to hear. We get two key piece twos, which uh, I don't know if these get rolled or not. It doesn't buff our angel chance any extra though, sadly. Oh well, it's fine. And we'll grab matchbook here normally. And I think your next step is just to move on down. I will go mines because, hey, like, why not, man? Crooked Penny plus double item rooms means you can get two items, as you can normally could, I guess, in a regular item room, but still. Mines is fun. Why not? 
No tinted rocks. I'll go on down. Yeah, this crooked penny play has already benefited us a lot. We got speed and tears from it, plus incubus, plus one part guppy. I, I like this. I genuinely enjoy this build we have going on right now. Plus, if we stand inside of this, I mean, we are a force. Nothing can touch us right now. Just stand right there. Goodbye, bomb gagger. I should have waited for you. Oh, we have stompy too. Of course you do that, huh? Extra item. I do want the tears, uh, but I, I can double that and feel okay not getting any luck out of it. Sure, why not? Because now we shoot, like, almost at past, like, regular tier cap, which is very, very good. Yeah, I don't know. I've been thinking about, like, going back to older games that I like to play, but the thing with going back to, like, older games for me is that my games that are nostalgic to me aren't retro. They're just, like, Wii games or DS games. I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm a pretty young dude. I didn't, I didn't grow up in the, you know... NES era or like the, the game, you know, Game Boy era and shit. I was, I was very, very young. Watch this. Fuck. Um, drop me money. We made it over the gap. We didn't theirs for some reason. Okay, so now we have rock bottom. Which is an item that I've been seeing quite a lot recently, uh, without even thinking about it. And here we see even more money for us, amazing. Uh, it makes me not want a Genesis this run right now, because in the future- Oh wait, does this work with Star of Bethlehem? Hold the fucking phone, come back, come back, come back, where are you? No, come back, where'd you go? Where'd you go? I need you ASAP. No, you're so far gone now, it's, it's insane. Uh, if I walk into that star, I might keep my tears up for like ever. And you know what? We'll go uh, blind here for Ghost Pepper. Okay. Yeah, things are definitely changing and working out for me right now. I respect it. Uh, Emperor card, Judgment card. Well, well, well. Uh, blanket's pretty good. I will say I like me some blanket action for boss fights. Why not? Uh, this run is just taken. This floor alone has made my entire life. Like, I don't even know how to explain how good this floor became for us. We now have uh, Never Going Down stats. Uh, plus extra damage. So is it already in the boss room? Holy shit. And we should now get a permanent tears up. Yep. We now have permanent tears up. Which means we will, we will always have uh, 4.35 tears. For the next little bit of this run. Plus more damage. Never mind. No more damage. And now I can more like, you know, willingly use a Crooked Penny. And not feel that bad about it. Because I mean, look at our build right now. We don't, we don't even need Wood and Nickel anymore. You know what I'm going to do actually? Judgment. Oh, 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 you're a bitch. You are straight up a bitch. Okay, you know what? It's our it's our one bomb we're gonna use here. We can no longer bomb you ever again on the run. I'm playing you out. I'm playing you out because you can drop me some really good stuff for a future roll with Genesis. You can do some really big things for me. Now, if we Genesis now, we will lose Rock Bottom and all of our bonus stats. However, I think it's a very small price to pay just to have some more fun on the run. We have an Emperor card for a free extra secret teleport right now. Oh. Didn't even see you. Okay, nice. No stats from that, though, funnily enough. Dude, just move on. Just steamroll. Go as fast as you want to go. I don't even know how you, like, top this kind of run already. Crooked Penny is, like, my favorite active item in this game. Oh, we gained more tiers there. Wait a minute, do we walk out? How did we gain even more tiers in that? What happened? We need Epiphora. If we can get Epiphora, oh my god. I would shit myself, actually. Okay. No extra tears there, sadly. A good chance for an angel deal on this floor, though. In fact, uh, a 75% chance overall, I believe, something around there for any kind of deal at all. And I can pay for a devil deal now. I don't even have to Crooked Penny. I can just pay for it normally here and not risk losing it. The Angubus find was amazing for us. It doubles our DPS exponentially here, pretty much. With our Bethlehem Star plus Rock Bottom and stuff like that. I don't know. The run is pretty much a one run. I, I can kind of just give up on the, the, the prospect of talking about this run at all, because it's already one. So, instead of talking about the lame-ass Isaac run we have going on, let's talk about Wii games. I, I've always wanted to, like... Everybody knows who Scott the Waz is, right? He's, like, one of the greatest YouTubers ever. He's uh, an amazing content creator, and... I don't think we want 4.5, but we might as well take it. Uh, that's what I thought. For the extra Genesis in the future, but... Scott the Waz is, like, literally 
like the best YouTuber on this platform. Hilarious dude, like in insanely insightful video essays. Like he's an amazing fucking guy. His content style uh, has always astounded me of how just like amazing it is. He um does these video essays mostly Nintendo based. It's more of like an overall gaming kind of show. You know, it's a TV show. Holy shit, I forgot about that, but. He does these, like, overarching video game, like, video essays that are just hilarious to watch and really, really, like, educational. And, um, that's kind of always appealed to me. I've always wanted to do something like that, but I feel like my, my channel now is more geared towards, like, just, like, regular Let's Plays and podcast-style talking. Which is fine, I, like, that's very fun to me, too, but... I've always wanted to do a video, like, a Scott the Waz-styled kind of inspired video on, um... you give me any range for this? You do not. Uh, on Wii games, I think the Wii is, like maybe the best console I've ever played in my entire life. I think even though it's over-reliance on motion controls, is definitely a big, like, bogging down feature. Um, overall, like, I think the Wii is like a pretty perfect console. I, I, I can't think of, like, a single flaw outside of maybe a lack of, like, super interesting uh, first-party support from a, a kind of like a 2020 hindsight perspective here. I think when those games came out, like Mario Bros. for the Wii and Kirby and all that stuff, they were pretty good. But looking back now, when we, all we've really gotten, aside from like Mario Odyssey, is just like 2D, you know, pretty washed down Mario games. It, it kind of leaves a bad taste in your mouth because the Wii and the DS kind of started that whole era of gaming. But I don't know. Mario for the Wii is an actually very fun, unique, and cool game, I think. It, it has a lot of really awesome mechanics in it. Sure, we'll, we'll double that. Items? Nope. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Yeah, get out of here, bitch. Okay. Bomb you out of there, 100%. More of you. Extra deal chance. Lovely. Some more money for us. Almost at max. Actually, we will now be at max money. Look at that. Already seen our shop, so the last thing you can do is walk into your deal. Let's go. It should be a Gideon or Tough Twins here, I'm pretty sure. But I don't know. The, the Wii, I think, just gets a bad rep because it started a lot of the annoying Nintendo trends, like having, you know... Like, overly done motion controls and kind of a, a, a lack of, like, artistic decision when it comes to making, like... How do I put this, like, with, with, in a... Oh, I like you. I like you a lot. How do I make this not sound like I'm being pretentious? Um, oh, my God. Shut the fuck up. Two key pieces, dude. Let's go. The double keys. Um, I don't want to sound pretentious, but what I mean by this is, like... The Wii, the, the art style. Uh, sorry guys, my C drive got filled up and I uh, wasn't recording or my LBS stopped recording, gave me an error over here. Uh, like like maybe a couple minutes ago. So I don't know where the video left off. I kind of just hit play again. I deleted a bunch of my old streaks and now I'm here. Uh, Okay, I don't know if it was recording down to this floor or not, but if you missed it, or if you guys, I guess you guys missed it, I got uh, Trisagion from the Angel deal, and this is kind of where I am now, just running around on this floor, I guess. Sorry about that, that was very strange, but we're, we're back, I hope. <laughs> we still have our emergency pop for this, so here's the thing, too, like, there... There's the whole debate about cheating in Isaac and, like, you know, this person cheated and it, and it doesn't really matter, but if I would have died on the run... It would have been a surprise to me because I could have just popped Genesis as well and just gotten, like, you know, all my HP back and shit. So, I didn't die. Uh, my space actually did fill up there. It's an error that happens when you have uh, 400 gigs of fucking video files from all your past streaks on this thing. So, oh well. But hey, we're back. We're cool. This run is pretty fucking overpowered as well. So, I doubt even any enemy on this floor could, like, realistically hit me here. But just be careful. There we go. We got our health back. Look at that. Our health is all the way back to. Don't worry about a thing. Also, this, this like this run itself is just batshit. But anyways, we're talking about um, I think the Wii's graphics and like the weird like, the thing is too, with with Mario's graphics is that I kind of liked the Smash Bros. Brawl Mario Kart Wii style more than I enjoy the current like Super Mario Party like the the really HD Mario looking shit. It just doesn't appeal to me. It's not artistic. It's We've seen it all before. Like, the thing is, too, like, I, I get that the, the realistic style from Brawl and, and, and Mario Kart Wii and stuff is washed out, repetitive, and just not overall that interesting anymore. But when it was on the Wii, it was relatively new. It was pretty fresh. So, I mean, take that as you will, I guess. It, it 
made sense on that system solely because it was, you know, it was a first for it. It truly was a first for it. Can we get maybe like a uh, blood bag here? Nah, this doesn't seem like it. It, it was a, a new kind of graphical look for him, and that way he got a pass. But they haven't, like, revolutionized how Mario looks or acts or sounds since, like, maybe the fucking GameCube era of Mario games. It's just so strange to me. Like, why why would you stick with the same... Oh, that's fine, I guess. I'll bomb these two. Why would you stick with the uh, exact, like, same old style over and over when every single, like, generational leap gave Mario a new look? I mean, think about it this way, right? You have, um... Let's go, let's go. NES was just, like, regular 8-bit Mario. Then you, get, then you got, like, you know, 16-bit Mario in, in Mario World. Well, you actually go Mario 1 to Mario 3. Huge advance in, in graphics on the exact same console. Then you got the SNES Mario, which is, like... And it also an insane upgrade for a one-system jump. The biggest upgrade of those comes to the N64 when he goes into goddamn 3D for the first time. That's pretty damn impressive, right? Going into 3D for the first time. That's really, really, really good. Uh, and then after that, like, Sunshine gave him a really nice, like, cool aesthetic almost to the, the whole thing there because he was no longer just, like, polygons. He was smooth and he had color and shading and all that. And then we had, um, after Sunshine, the Wii came. And Galaxy was a pretty big graphical overhaul. I'll give you guys that. Gra you know, um, what's the game called? <laughs> Mario uh, Galaxy was a pretty big graphical overhaul, and I respect that one a lot. But since, like, but that was still kind of like just HD Mario without any kind of, like, stylistic choice. So I, I don't even know if I would consider that to be a big, you know, stylistic change. He's kind of been the same dude for a while, and I get the formula works, Buck. The formula works for him, sure, I get that, but it'd be nice to see some variety again within his playstyle and stuff, and within his, like, appearance, I guess. I don't know. I'm getting kind of bored of just, hey, here's Mario. Yo, that might crash our game. Okay, it looks like it's not going to crash our game. Look at that. This run's going amazing still. I almost wanted to black ruin that shit, but thank God I did not. Where are you? I know you're down there. Oh, you're, you're above me. I was like, where the fuck is this guy? He couldn't go up because I was above him. Yeah, uh, Mario just... I, th I think TLDR, Mario just needs to have an overhaul again. I think that seeing the same exact, like, render of Mario, the same exact stylistic choice of Mario over and over, this kind of makes every single game feel disingenuous and not unique anymore. Like, I never get excited about Mario games. I used to be like, oh, yes, new Mario coming out. But now I'm just kind of just like, oh... That's the, that's the same Mario as last year, isn't it? <laughs> sure. Nope, I guess not. When do we want a Genesis? Is my question. Do we... I think we should go to the chest and then say fuck it and do it there. Really uh, risk ourselves for it, you know? I guess we could do it on this floor and maybe get, like, cracked orb and then go to Mother. That could be a fun way to do it. Why are you... Oh, I, I know why you're going this way. You're going up, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know I know what you're doing. You can't hide from me. That nice. Wow, what, a, what an amazing money drop again. Save those for later because you need to get healed up on this floor. Uh, luckily, no Gahana or no Gunga, excuse me, on this run. Very, very nice. I'm a fan of the Mausoleum, but the Gunga can go F off and die. Dude, this build is crazy. This is like the ketchup and mustard build right now. Uh-oh. Uh, we're cool. What do you got for me in here? Sure. All right, are we Beelzebub? We are not Beelzebub yet. We're getting close, though, I feel like. We have, um... Does Parasite count? No, it shouldn't count, I guess. Do we only have one fly item? I guess we only have one fly item. Strange. All right. That's fine, man. Okay, we'll do one of these. Oh, we can walk over the skulls, you weirdo. You can walk over them. Our final shop of the run is going to give us... Absolutely nothing. Okay, that's fine, too. I think at this point in the run, we don't really need any more items. We could live like... We could, we could win just like this. The fun's going to come in rolling our entire run... And getting new items from these same pools. My dream is to get an Arky. That's my absolute dream. We can actually, we can skip Womb 2 and go straight up to Cathedral, can't we? We could do that, couldn't we? If we take Polaroid here, right? We have Polaroid now. Uh, yeah, I didn't think so. You take Polaroid. You go on down here. When you use Genesis, it should give you a beam of light that brings you up. Would I rather skip Cathedral, though? I think the answer is yeah, I'd rather skip Cathedral. Um, there's a higher chance we die there because these rooms are, like, 
the, the rooms at Cathedral are very boss oriented. This one's a, these are very enemy oriented, and we kind of crush enemies harder than we do bosses right now. So I'd rather just do this and beat this floor out and skip the Isaac fight because Isaac fight two could be a bit more harder for us. Ah. You know what? I don't want to do that room. <laughs> I do not want to do that room. Oh, that's fun to see, I guess. Uh, we could take binge eater, sure. We'll take Luckfoot here. Oh, right, they 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 do this thing now. Um, what I'm gonna do actually is take the Plopia. And why don't we give ourselves we'll we'll wait on the Plopia. We'll we'll just take syringes here for now. That is the wafer. I don't know if it does anything, but this is like the, the classic, you know? And this we do want um, to do that. We'll take the uh, this thing here. And we'll take Psyfly. And this will now be spun for us. So he should now be spun. Yeah. And then I guess here you just take the food again. You don't really need anything from over here. We lost Ma or Mega Mush. Sure, who cares though? I more want to just win the run. We'll go for Continuum, I guess. More kind of useless shit. We'll go for Moldy Bread once more. It's a Moldy, moldy Bread's Lux. We'll go for what? What do you give me? Your range. It looked like. Uh well, we'll go Dark Matter. I like some Damiami. Sure, guaranteed Dami that is. And you could be fun because Soul Stone. Bercano, not that fun to be honest with you. I do need a tears increase. And there is Trisagion back. Love me some of that. The build's not as good as it used to be, but it's still pretty funny. You know what? We'll fuck out of the mark today. I never use marked properly, I feel like. Glass cannon. No, thank you. Okay. Mark's pretty good, it looks like. We'll go doggy food here. I saw a good item. I did not. That's that's IBS. Not a good item. <laughs> ah, stapler. Yes. More damage. Converter. We don't have an active. I guess this is fine. Oh. Love me some salvation as well. Flies. Ba ah, we'll go fruitcake here, I guess. You with marked could be pretty fun. And you... I'll go for the familiar. Pandora's box? What do you... D you are good next floor, actually. Sure. <sighs> yes! Okay. Hop that. Take that. Uh, go for Ghost Babby for Conjoined here. Yeah, this is what I wanted to see. Quad shot. Um, dry Babby. That and that are good for us, sure. We'll take, uh, I, wanna, I, don't, I want to grab the other thing, but that's fine too. We'll grab you. We'll grab you. And we'll grab you. And we'll take some of this over here. Yeah. I, I think we've, we've, I can say safely we've won this run. Um, Popper Cano, I guess. And then now it is Cathedral time, isn't it? Seems to be that way. All right. Our build has switched up all the way because of that one dumb room. And I'm excited about it. We should be able to, like, pretty much, like... Is this better than our old build? Is this better than... What the... F how about... How about... What are we going here? I mean, this might be better. I don't think it's better, but I think... Okay, maybe it is. That damage is a little zesty. Hmm... This might be better than our old build. Thanks to good old uh, Trisagion. Help me. I, don't, I can't even see what's going on, though, is the biggest issue here. We'll just walk in, we'll pop this down, and we'll just... Uh... Oh, my God. Don't shoot. You might, you might honestly crash your game now. Do not shoot. But kill Isaac, though. This, this build's pretty good. At the end of the day, it's a good build. It's a good build. That's all I can say about it. It's a good build. Okay. All right, Damocles. What are you going to do for me? Oh, yeah, we have two key pieces. There's Epiphora. I was talking about that earlier. Let's get, let's get some different stats here, though. You. 
You. And you. And, uh, should we go fight Mega Satan? Yeah, sure, why not? We'll go fight, we'll fight him right away. Who cares? Right, let's keep firing him. You should be fine here. You'll get a... F oh, you don't have 4.5 anymore for Stapler, though. Aw, oh, man. You had a good thing with 4.5 and everything else, but you kind of squandered that, I feel like. Your Revelation Beam, though, is one of the coolest... Holy, that looks so fucking cool. Oh, my God. Yeah, okay. Uh, I think you genuinely just win this right off the bat here. You have coins for healing in here as well because of uh, Fruitcake's uh, I have Greed Effect, whatever it's called, which is very nice. I think this should be a free win. Will I fight Delirium? I... Uh, yeah. Yeah, I will fight Delirium. Uh-oh. Stand back. Just don't get hit. Okay, maybe I won't because we have Damocles, though. That could be like an instant loss for us. When are the angels coming out, dog? There we go. The pop tiers are doing some major damage. You died. Frame one. You are not far behind, are you? Yeah, goodbye. Okay, so I'm just going to stand over here and let this do its, its work for us. If we get Delirium Portal, I think I will go down it because I I, I believe in us. Oh, we got hit. Get some, get some health back, please. Thank you. Okay, maybe not. I'm scared of Damocles. I could drop at any moment. Please don't lose. Why now? Why now? I've had two crashes today. Uh, one happened when I my, my hard drive, my C drive was out of space, and now this one. Okay. We're back in the chest at least, guys. That's a benefit here. That's cool. Alright, well. Do everything the same here. Go on in. Speed run time, boys. Okay, what am I most concerned about here? Uh, crashing is my biggest concern. When you go down to your next phase of attacks, whether it be, like, um, his la Mega Satan's last living fate. I'm not gonna fight him. We can't fight him. Uh, the run is just too unstable for it. I, this <laughs> I don't like getting mad at games, but this unstable? Like, I mean, come on. I know we just, we just had our first, like, you know, big patch in months, but this unstable? I can't even fight the boss that I want to fight anymore because my build is just too crazy. One. Two. Three. Four. Okay. You know what? Just do it normally, then. If you can't fight your boss, you beat the run normally. I know it's maybe like a memory issue. It's over... I will not get mad. I, I am an adult. I will not get mad at a at ones and zeros on the screen in front of me. It is all binary in the end of the day. It is all binary. <sighs> Speed run time. Here we go, boys. We don't lose these. You shoot once, you stop shooting. Let your re like residual tears take care of everything else. It's not as good as, you know, the run yesterday. By any means, obviously. But you're, you're making some progress here. Just don't be shooting too much. If you have to, use Salvation. It, it's a free way to not uh, crash your game. All right, save and quit. Our first hurdle is now passed. Our first hurdle is now passed. Ay, 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 dude. This is just crazy to me. I don't even... Oh, it's the wrong way. That's so funny, dude. I so, Can we get an Emperor card here, though? Nope, not anymore. Oh, we get an item, though, which is HP. Oops, that was not what I wanted to grab. We get, we get tears from that, though. Not bad. Shot speed up, sure. Okay, I guess you're going up here. Oh, I, I'm going to save and quit. I'm going to save and quit. This is the strategy for this run. Keeper should still be a victory here. If we were going to lose against Mega Satan, we won't lose against Little Horn. <laughs> I hope not. At least, yeah, he's dead. We're cool. Save that penny on the ground for later. You just... How did you live through half of those attacks? You're crazy. You're cracked. Ah... Oh, no. What hit me? <sighs> Get binge eater. Get some health here. Get something. Save an exit. That was close. Uh, that was close. 
Hence why I put Keeper in my not great tier of the tier list, because things like that can happen on any run where you get double tapped in the room and suddenly you're at 1 HP with uh, no, you know, complete way to heal up. Hello, beautiful. Oh, and a Polyon Soul as well. That should solve our crashing issue on a blue baby. That should kill blue baby by itself, I feel like. Okay, you're dead. Uh, I want to find the red room, though, genuinely. However, I don't really want to look for it for Soul to pop it here. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. I don't want to spend forever looking for it, so who cares? We do get more uh, stuff here. We get some milk for the boss fight. I am going to save and quit right now. I'm gonna let I'm gonna let the sprinkler just do its thing. Sprinkler, just go and do your thing in here. Don't mind me. Okay, and we won. Okay, beautiful. I'm gonna get out of here as fast as possible. Because damn, we have damage because I don't want to crash the game too much. We finished the run. Sorry for the hard drive crash. Sorry for the game crashes. All that stuff. I'll post like a picture of my filled up hard drive for proof that it actually did fill up. My recording stopped happening. Aside from that, guys, it's been BD1P. Peace out. Ugh, and goodbye.